So some women will continue having good eggs even at the age of 43 and 44 and some women will run out of eggs even at the age of 35. So which is older women could have a good AMH yes. level. But the important thing is doctors don't treat results, we treat patients. Why do some older women still have normal AMH levels? Now we understand that older women will have declining ovarian reserve and as they keep on getting older, their ovarian reserve will keep on declining because each cycle the follicles undergo atresia and finally they'll run out of eggs and they'll become menopausal. Now before the menopause, there's a phase called the opause or the premenopause. But the interesting thing is this is highly variable. So some women will continue having good eggs even at the age of 43 and 44 and some women will run out of eggs even at the age of 35, which is called premature ovaria. So there's no simple direct correlation between calendar age and ovarian age. Remember that. Secondly is ovarian age is assessed by multiple things. You have markers for ovarian reserve. One is the blood test called an AMH level. Then is the ultrasound scan called an antral follicle count. And both these are good markers, but none of them are 100% predictive. So understand the limitation of the test so that older women could have a good AMH level. But even if older women have a good AMH level, that doesn't necessarily mean that the egg quality will be good. And particularly older women with polycystic ovarian disease are likely to have normal AMH levels because they always had high AMH levels when they were younger. So the important thing to remember is there is no simple correlation. The results can be confusing. But the important thing is doctors don't treat results. We treat patients. So it's not your ovarian reserve which matters. It's your ovarian response. And the only way to judge ovarian response, which is dynamic, is during an IVF cycle where we can check how many eggs you grow, what the quality of the eggs is, but much more important, how good the quality of the embryos which these eggs make is. That's the most important thing.